so it's official. I have finally gone nuts. Another review, or a bit of a show really. Not a review because I don't know anything about them. Look at my beautiful dress wear. I have got a pair of waders. Now I've seen my friend Cliff Hands up in Scotland wearing waders and he goes in the rivers and, and stuff like that and gets some pretty cool photographs. And I wondered what it was like to have a pair of waders. I've never been in a pair of waders, I've never worn a pair of waders and I am now in a pair of waders. These are a size large but I'm quite short, I'm five foot eight, and I think a large, these are probably for a six foot person, but obviously I've got a bit of girth and a bit of chest size. Um, so yeah, I needed a large to get all this tucked inside here. Now it comes with a uh, elasticated waistband, uh, a belt that you slot through the loops on the back. Um, you've got two big side pockets for slopping your hands in. They go all the way through out the other side if you really needed to put your hands in and keep your hands warm. That's a place to be. It's nice and fleece lined on the inside so it keeps your hands warm. And these are water sealed zips on the top there. And also you've got this big pocket on the front. And this big pocket has a small lanyard attached to the inside. This would be for putting your keys in um, if you're that way inclined rather than in your bag. Mine around my neck. I always keep them around my neck, but yeah, keeping the lens cloth in there maybe and keeping my phone in there sort of handy because you cannot get to your inside pockets. There is no way in. This is all completely sealed, stitched and sealed. Um, there is no way of water getting in. Um, so yeah, you, you can't get to your pockets on the inside. That's for, that's for definite. And if you need a whittle, make sure you do it before you put these on. Another thing to remember is that once you're in these, you're going to get warm if you're walking. Mm. I'm still in my van. It's a bit of a drizzly morning. There's a couple of waterfalls down there. It's not deep water, but I want to get in them anyway. And I might even just sit in it just to prove these are waterproof. Um, but the problem I've got is these don't have boots on the bottom. These have um, like uh, neoprene socks uh, attached to the bottom inside. So these are totally waterproof and sealed up. Uh, the problem I've got is I can't put anything on my feet. Uh, you would need a bigger boot, a bigger size shoe. So I'm going to have a look and see if I've got a pair at home. I did have a pair of size nines, which are way too big for me. Uh, if not, I'm going to get myself a cheap pair of like um, swimming type shoes or something that I can put over the bottom to protect the neoprene so it doesn't get ripped on rocks. Um, or a big pair of, you know, like wellies maybe. So you, I don't know, wellies fill the water, so you don't want them. So yeah, I'm going to try and put my wellies on at the moment which is not ideal because they will fill up with water and I'll have to dry them out when I get home. Um, or I can try and get my Crocs on, uh, but they're not that easy to get my feet in my Crocs because I'd say they're, they're quite um, chunky, but I just want to protect the bottom while I get in the water. So I'll, I'll give it a go, see if I can ram my feet in these uh, and see what happens. So I do need to get these in water. If it doesn't happen out here because I haven't got any boots, then I'll, uh, Sit in the bath at home. See you soon. Ah, before I go, let me just uh, go through some of this information for you because this is the important part. Um, yeah, price wise, uh, these are the uh, Kyle Booker. Uh, you can see across my belly there. Uh, Kyle Brooker fly fishing waders, breathable stockings, foot chest waders for men and women. Um, these are from Amazon, you can get these on Amazon at $69.99. It's a reasonable price really. They've got these elasticated um, straps on the top so that they keep them pulled up, which is quite nice for you. Belt loops, yeah, you've got hooks on the front here, you've got your D-rings, so you've got D-ring either side. So if you want to hang your filters, if you're, a, if you're a photographer like me, if you want to hang your filters on them, or I'll take it if you're fishing, you might want to hang a net or some hook, I don't know. I don't know, whatever you'd hang on the front there. But for, for me, for fishing, for me for photography hanging my filters on is a good idea I've got them with me and they're close at hand also on this picture I've got some hooks on the waist belt uh, but there's none in the box so these might be a slightly different pair I've got on my screen in front of me uh, fully waterproof built-in zipped pockets like I said I showed you all the zip pockets uh, we've got some sizes I'll put this size chart up on the screen for you um, because this is might be quite important but we've got way the size chart and I'm just going to read off what I've got I've got a size large it says 55 inches uh, outseam, bust 
47 inches, hip line 54 inches, inseam 33 inches, thigh 30 inches, stocking foot is a US 10 to 12, so I'm only a size 8 in foot, but this is giving you a 10 to 12 in foot, and stocking length 11 inches. I don't know what all those sizes mean in relation to what I'm actually wearing. Um, they've got them in centimetres as well, but I'll put the chart up on the screen so you can have a little read of it. Uh, there is a diagram to, to show you what each part means. Um, the, the stocking is stitched from below, uh, so your, your foot stocking is all stitched in and water sealed in so it doesn't come out and there's an overlap as well. So if you've got a pair of boots that go up underneath, you can actually have the overlap wrap over the top. Neoprene, the neoprene on the sock is a four millimeter thick high density neoprene stocking foot. Uh, gravel guard protects debris from entering shoes. Uh, that's a gravel guard, so a little flap on the bottom, which is this bit here. This stops all stuff flapping down into your shoes, like I say, and if you're not going in too deep, it might stop a drop of the water going into the ankle. Um, but yeah, that's, that's to stop all the gravel and stuff going into your boots and finding it uncomfortable for walking and ripping your neoprene soles. So, job done. We need to get these wet. Okay, so this is really weird and really random, but I'm in my bathroom and it's a very small, tight, compact little bathroom. Um, and I've got my waders on and I couldn't make it in the river because I couldn't find anything on my feet uh, to get on my to put my feet in. Um, so I'm just going to get in the bath and uh, show you what happens when you submerge these. And the bath is full of cold water, but I just want to see if I stay dry. So here it goes. What a weird ah, and random thing to do. I'm now sat in cold water, completely submerged, and uh, yeah, we're, we're in. I'm sure that these would work right up to my waist, uh, right up to my top half, and it, they're cold, yeah, I can feel the cold through them, but you know, we are in water. The water, as I pull my legs out, literally, run straight off not a single drop of water stays on them that's very very cool anyway i've got to get out of this bath and dry these off look at that all the water just runs straight off that's impressive that is so uh yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe give us that thumbs up and uh waders done they work what a good idea if you want to go in the river you just need some big feet and i haven't got any yet so uh watch this space ciao for now